For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see Linux containers. So, which is in a negative uh, support of RHEL 8 containers. So, RHEL 8, they given a new methods to build the containers instead of using the other tools, external tools. But this is of the built-in features of RHEL 8, which are Podman, Builder, Scopio, and Runcy. So, let's see what are those and how we can build the containers using this technologies or these tools so what is mainly the container a container is a form of os virtualization a single container might be used to run anything from a small microservice of software process to a larger application basically the container does not have a complete os so it only have the required installs of the required libraries to run any software so that's why it is a tiny small and it does not consume a more resource when you run the container so that's the main advantage of that one example if you want to run a small web server you don't need to install complete operating system which installs so many uh, files and configuration stuff but the container will only do a small whatever the required libraries for that particular web server application so that's why it's it's in simple mbs like example if you run simple container which should be in around 150 mb to 200 mb something like that rgl8 provides tools building the containers it provides the tools called poldman uh, builder scopio and runcy to work with containers within a single server so within a single parameter server or maybe instead of um, building any multiple servers you can build a single server in that you can run so many containers to do your work or you might be dedicate most of them are to the different different services containers run demandless and rootless so Demandless means there is no service required to run for this containers. So it will run without a demand Okay, and rootless. So most of the containers launch then you require root access But here you do not require any root access you, from the normal user also you can even run the Containers or even you can build the container from there itself. So that's the advantage of the using this portman so what are the core technologies which is inbuilt are the uh, rhcl implements the linux containers using this core technologies so control groups which are the c groups we call for resource management whenever you launch any container so it requires some resources right the resources are managed using this c groups namespaces for process isolation example each and every container will have their own namespace so to avoid the interaction between the multiple containers directly so that's the security level and sc linux for security so you can apply the sc linux to these container policies so that they have more security in terms of accessing secure multi-tenancy example you can run multiple tenants example you have a different different companies together you want to run multiple companies containers in within the single server you can still do, do that because it uses the different security methods to secure them or they cannot access each other if they are still located in the same server so that's the secure multi tenancy so these are the four methods are the four core technologies inbuilt in this container technologies on the rgl8 portman builder scopia and runcy what are those basically portman is a demandless container engine for developing managing and running oci containers on linux system 
continuous can either be run as root or in rootless mode so either the container can run using the portman so the portman is main main engine which is uh, used to deploy and manage the o oci containers and it it can also be run as a root user or rootless mode builder for building pushing and signing the container images scopio for copying inspecting deleting and signing images run c for providing container run and build features to portman and build so these are the tools we are going to use it for deploying the containers and building it them and pushing it them and making the new scratch containers and uh, inspect the existing containers uh, and signing the images all of this we can use in the uh, practical session let's see what exactly we have to do in order to start with the the container technology and this rcl8 so first of all we need to install the module called container tools so which basically install all the dependent packages for this uh, required container containers packages so the commands and uh, associated libraries will be installed yum install so there is a dependent packages for portman like if most of the users already using some docker containers then if you if you'd like to re replace the docker with the portman so the portman docker would be a easy step like where it similar commands like the docker same instead of docker you just replace the portman so it works so that's the simple fonda that's why you can install the portman iphone docker so it's similar like commands for the dockers portman search centos so which will basically search the repository uh, on the access.redart.registry.com or on the redart side and as well as the docker site for searching the images and uh, pull the images using the portman pull and what are the name the image name you can here centos i just put as an example you may put centos ubuntu or chill whatever you want and you can see that pulled images using the portman images and portman inspect the image name id so the when you download the image it gets a uh, id number so id you can inspect that particular image whether it is inspect will provide all the detailed information that what are the packages are installed on that particular uh, image and uh, where it is came from and what are these details of uh, particular image before running that if you inspect it you will get the full details on that image and you can run portman run and uh, running that image so it will run this image and uh, if there is no job is running within that pod so you cannot see any processes running behind that because it's a daemon list and portman run iphone it interactive manner if you want to execute any commands on that particular image you can just uh, you can just run something like this and uh, be bash so that you can access the bash command prompt on that particular port container so let's see in practically how we can install and configure them so this is my rhl 8 or the centos 8 so if you do not have any rhl subscription or you do not have any uh, trial license already trial is not subscribed to the rhl 8 so i recommend to go with the centos 8 since if you do not have the subscription then uh, the container technology may not work properly for you so that's why uh, if you do not have the RHC 8 already subscribed to the subscription manager as a trail version as is as I shown you before if it is not then you just uh, use the CentOS to do that do this so let's install the packages required m module install container tools since i already installed these packages so it says dependencies is sold nothing to do that nothing to do with anything so let's install the another packages the dependent packages of portman and the uh, rootless container running dependent packages 
am install the dependence package name is lir p for name ns so this is the dependent package for rootless and the portman and portman iphone docker iphone y so these are the packages required for our installation so basically whenever you install the container tools it will automatically install uh, all the required packages for you now we installed all the required packages for us now let's create some user to run as any rootless user and example i just run something like uh, username is ravi i might be create some comment as ravi kumar it might be something admin and say the username is ravi then the user has been created and set this username password so user created and user password has been created successfully now do ssh to that user ssh do not use a sudo because since it does not load the required uh, um, environment for you so it, it may not work so that's why you have to do this way then now portman is ready to do with this rootless right run some rootless container and see how it works portman first of all we do search on this centos method and see if you could able to get this access you can see there are so many stuff so this error you may get it because since we do not have any uh, registries on this it is not registered with that so that's why it, it may get uh, error and you can see that docker i where there are so many centos images so which image you would like to bring it here so whether you can bring it centos or centos latest whatever it is you can pull that image using this so now let's specify that which image you would like to pull it old man pull i just would like to pull the centos latest version okay and let's type this one you can see now the image has been pulled over here let's clear the screen and see port man images now you can see there is a new latest centos image has been pulled out and which was created seven months ago and you can see that there is a image id which is here and inspect this container and see what is there in that portman inspect and provide this id so you can see that there are so many details this is a simple centos image we pulled it from there and let's run this image and see what we can run this portman okay now portman images and old man run and provide that image name or image id so it just run and exit it let's run it again with the different same old man images let's see old man images and run it with some some different naming or some uh, commands on there on the portman then delete that portman image so maybe i just run something different uh, container here let's something like uh, run it and remove it from here centos let's say latest and cat 
slash etc data iphone release so this is the command i just would like to run on that particular centos and remove that container after running this command enter now you can see that it ran the command on that particular see the centos release 8.3 this is the command has been run and it exited and similar way if you want to run something different portman run maybe i would like to put a different name to that particular container saying that uh, it's a tech arkit for that and i can interactively run on this ubuntu latest i just pull the different image and run bin bash on that particular image so it just go and pull that uh, ubuntu image and uh, run that bin bash so i'm not removing this container so i did not specified anything rm or there so you can see that this is the container which is logged in now let's uh, run something like uh, cat slash etc os iphone release you can see that this is the ubuntu version 20.04 lds focal fossa and this is the image you can see that and uh, let's run some ls you can see directories on that particular container now if you go back i just launch your different image sorry duplicate session of this one and show you something now just run portman ps so what is the processes are running in this you cannot see here okay because it's a daemon list that's why it does not show anything and if you go back to the maybe user ravi let's see portman ps yes. can see since this user is running the portman you cannot even list the ps from the root user you can only list it from that particular user so that's that's one more security level up about the minute ago which was launched created and which is still running so if i exit from this container and run portman ps so it was gone if you want to run anything uh, similar like using this uh, portman run iphone d example say that i want to run is uh, some http service okay just put it as docker image and put some httpd and pull that image it's downloading the image now see portman images and you can see that there are three images we pulled it one is ubuntu another is httpd and another is centos portman ps yes. you can see which is still running in the background that's how you can pull this using the portman you can still pull this images and run this uh, container technology using this portman and uh, we'll see more detail like how you can create the containers from the scratch and how we can clone the containers and how we can push them and pull them all of this in the next session that's about it